Hello my friends, welcome to reddit rabbit. Before we start, catch the rabbit at the bottom right corner, smash that subscribe button and leave a comment. r slash today I learned, today I learned that Gene Wilder got into comedy and acting because of his mother's heart condition. His mother's doctor told him to try to make her laugh, to make her feel better, leading to his conscious efforts to make other people laugh. That's actually kind of sad. Now I'm just picturing him miserable on the inside with every joke he cracks. He grew incredibly miserable and felt guilty for a long time, because he considered her life to be in his hands. I just watched his Conan interview promoting his memoir. In it, Conan says that at the end of the book, he seems happy. Wilder put his hand on top of Conan's and says, I'm the happiest I've been in my life. I didn't know how hard his childhood was. I'm glad he found peace. I saw that too. Made me really happy for him. Most comedy seems to be born from depression and other negative factors. A happy comedian is few and far between. I'm glad he's reconciled with himself. You can be happy and funny. It's hard to become funny if you're already happy. Case in point, Bill Burr. Found happiness. Kept the art. That seems like such a Gene Wilder thing. I saw an interview where he talked about why he no longer took movie roles. He talked about how obscene comedy had become. How he didn't mind cursing, but that it had to be there for a reason. And how Hollywood had just become obscene. You could tell he really cared. Oh yes, he talks about that in the interview that I linked in the comments here. It's an understandable viewpoint, because cursing should be adding something to a scene or role, instead of being cursing for cursing's sake. I completely agree. The movie that comes to mind is Transformers. Age of Extinction. It is PG-13 so it's allowed one freak. Stanley Tucci's character was running behind these old ladies and asks how do you say get the frick out of the way in Chinese? It was a tense scene, fit the character, and made the moment better. I just want to say your username paired with your comment is perfect for this. I didn't even think about that lol. Every single entertainer's career has begun with the words, Hey, mom. Look at this. Gene's autobiography was honest to the point of real discomfort. That's actually heartbreaking. Oh this blows my mind. I was born with a congenital heart condition and my favorite movie to watch when I was in the hospital for surgery was the Og Willy Wonka. He would make me crack up four hours on end. Dad always thought laughter was the best medicine, which I guess is why several of us died of tuberculosis. Jack Handy. I love Gene Wilder. His acting, his movies, his stories, the way he moves a scene from uncertainty towards a point of complete certainty, drawing on every nuance, twisting and turning facts and thoughts into converging strains of merging ideas twisting around each other one making the last better than the next rising and reaching towards a central truth in glorious communion with the reality that I love this man. I hope that everyone reads this in Gene's voice getting more and more frantic as it goes on right up until it gets quiet and calm at the very end. And understand how much I love this man. The monologue in the tunnel in the chocolate factory has always made me feel uneasy due to his voice control. How he seems certain of himself, but also totally mad for those few seconds. Oh my god are you kidding me? But the rowers are not showing any sign that they are slowing. We're here. I don't know how you did that, but it worked. Give my creation lift fee. It's crazy how many comedians became funny because of tragedy in their leaves. Jim Carrey comes to mind. Wrong. You lose. Good day saw. This is so sad. Wilder died at the age of 83 on the 29th of August, 2016, at home in Stamford, Connecticut from complications of Alzheimer's disease. He had kept knowledge of his condition private, but had been diagnosed three years prior to his death. Wilder's nephew, Jordan Walker Pearlman, said that this was so as not to sadden fans of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, stating, the decision to wait until this time to disclose his condition wasn't vanity, but more so than the countless young children that would smile or call out to him there's Willy Wonka would not have to be then exposed to an adult referencing illness or trouble and causing delight to travel to worry, disappointment, or confusion. 
He simply couldn't bear the idea of one less smile in the world. According to his family, Wilder died while listening to one of his favorite songs, a rendition of Over the Rainbow sung by Ella Fitzgerald. I know it is common between comedians, but in Wilder's eyes is kind of easy to see a profound sadness. I am a fan, but his eyes always made me uneasy. Young Frank Rumstein is hands down one of the best well-timed comedies ever created. Gene Wilder has an excellent autobiography of his life story called Kiss Me Like a Stranger. My search for love and art. So much respect for this guy. Be funny. Your mother's life depends on it. It. Just saw interview on Conan with him. And he told about when they were writing Blazing Saddles. And he wanted the big song and dance number in it. Mel thought it was absolutely a lame idea. And the two had their only argument in their life. Going on for about 20 minutes. Mel throws up his hands and goes alright. It's in. Why did you argue for so long if you were just gonna cave in like that? I was not sure about the bit. But you defended it for so long it must be a thing. It was young Frankenstein with putting on the Ritz not blazing saddles. And made them laugh he did. One of the all time greats. What kind of doctor tells a kid this? His Wikipedia article has a segment quoting his cousin speaking about his death that feels like it was added to Wikipedia by his cousin. His cousin's Wikipedia article also sorta reads like it was written by himself too. That's sweet. I made my grandma laugh on her deathbed by quoting Gene Wilder and Marty Feldman from Young Frankenstein. My grandma used to hang out with his sister in 1930s Milwaukee. She says the whole community always felt bad for the family on account of his mother's condition, but that they were all very nice people. At the time she though he was a bit odd, but funny. She also directed him in a school play once, which my family has always gotten a kick out of. He's Patch Adams. That just made me think of Robin Williams and added to my pain. Patch Adams hated that movie. I just googled this to read Adams' reaction to the film in the Wikipedia article, because I didn't know. His reasoning makes sense, though. The film promised to build our hospital. None of the profits from the film ever came to us. And so, basically 40 years into this work, we are still trying to build our hospital. Robin Williams made 21 million dollars for 4 months of pretending to be me, in a very simplistic version, and did not give 10 dollars to my free hospital. Patch Adams, the person, would have, if I had Robin's money, given all 21 million dollars to a free hospital in a country where 80 million cannot get care. That's quite itty. Agreed. Didn't know either until I saw it on a Today I Learned Lately. Super itty. Love Robin Williams. Don't get me wrong but thought he was better than that. Pretty sure he could have taken the financial hit and given it all away but, a, who knows. He apparently did help on some level, but definitely not to the level which he really could have helped. It's interesting this came up. On my YouTube feed a few days ago there was a Gene Wilder video where he's on stage getting interviewed. After being told to make his mother laugh by the doctor, Gene Wilder took heed and did that when returning to home. He was so successful that on the next checkup his doctor said don't make her laugh too much. You may give her a heart attack. Of course he said that in jest, but you can tell he was a master at conveying levity to any situation that he found. Gosh, I wish I could find that video. He says it much better than I would. If I uncover it again, I'll post it here. His autobiography is available via audiobook, with him narrating. If you haven't had the chance, listen to or read it. One of the most beautiful books I've ever read. I've always battled depression, and laughter is like a drug for me. Making other people laugh is a huge rush as well. I'm extremely envious of those who are talented enough to do it for a living, though it also takes a ton of work and rejection. Best last line in a movie ever? Easy, the Frisco Kid, Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford. Somebody please show these arsehole the way out of town. I bought his autobiography when he passed away. I don't have idols. But for me Gene Wilder was a good person who made me and hopefully a whole bunch of people laugh. I cannot imagine how it must have felt having his mother, Gloria Radner and Madeline Kahn all dying from ovarian cancer. 
his philosophy about the golden way, or something like that, is very inspirational. Willy Wonka is currently on Netflix, it's just a good as ever. This post need a million likes. Gene is such an incredible person.